Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show you how to convert negative 34 pi divided by 6 into degree measure. And if you remember uh, other my videos, we've talked about multiplying it by a ratio. And the ratio that we're going to want to use is 180 divided by pi. Now, when multiplying by 180 divided by pi, the reason why I'm multiplied by this, because 180 degrees is equivalent to pi. So it's OK if we can multiply by. We're not going to change the value of our problem, but we're going to change the units as pi over pi is going to cancel out our radian term. And we'll just be left with a unit of degrees. Now, the important thing to look at this is I don't have a calculator with me. And I don't want to try to multiply negative 34 times 180, then divide it by 6, and then reduce my problem. There's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm going to use is I'm going to rewrite this problem as um, using my period as an aid. So if you think about this, if you look at negative 34 over 6, let's look at this graph, right? Well, remember going all the way around, that's 12 pi over 6, 25 pi over 6, and all the way around would be negative 30, um, 36 pi over 6. So I have to go around all these different times. Well, what I want to do is I just want to know, you know where does my angle actually end up. It's going to end up somewhere around there. So what I can do is I can get rid of all these um, revolutions, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 34 pi over 6, and I'm just going to add 2 pi over 6, and then, oh, I'm sorry, 2 pi over 6, which is, or 2 pi, which would be 12 pi over 6, plus 12 pi over 6. So that ends up being 20 pi, 24 pi over 6. And so I reduce it down to negative 10 pi over 6. So by adding 2 pi, right, by adding these revolutions, what I have equivalent, what I've done is these are equivalent. All I did was I reduced these extra revolutions we had to do. Because this is, you know, this is over, um, you know, over my revolution. So by adding 12 pi over 6, 12 pi over 6, I've reduced the amount of revolutions that we've had to do. So now I have my answer, negative 10 pi over 6. It's a little bit easier now to multiply this by 100 pi, 180 pi over, or 180 degrees divided by pi. Because now, when I look at this, I can cancel out my pi's, all right? And then 180 um, degrees divided by 6 is 30 degrees. So then I have negative 10 times 30 degrees, which is a negative 300 degrees. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. When you have a large angle like that, try to use your period as an aid and knock out all those extra revolutions. But then make sure you take your angle, multiply it by 180 degrees over pi, and then simplify. And you're all set. Thanks.